Hello, I'm Michael Eisner. When I watch an episode of Brand New Life, I'm reminded that there are times when a parent has to put his foot down. You know, the same can be said for an executive. There are times when I have to put my foot down and just say no. For example, a few hours ago, Mickey and the gang wanted to borrow my car. No, Mickey, I'm sorry, you cannot have the car. I'm going to a meeting off the lot, and there's only enough gas to get there and get back. your first station wagon? I don't know. You're not supposed to be looking at the price. Leather seats, Mom. Beautiful, aren't they? Orthopedically designed, 16 different adjustments. You can sit in it if you'd like. Come on. Yeah, Mom, come on. Well, line three. Okay, you've got your onboard computer, full instrumentation with tachometer, four-position tilt steering wheel, and turbo under the hood. Wow, it's turbo? That's right, young fella. Zero to 60 in 8.4 seconds. Roger, this is a rocket ship. <laughs> What's wrong with my old honeybee? The brakes, the carburetor, the transmission. Service day, line two. I've, I've never had a new car. Well, you deserve it for graduating from court reporter school. Yeah, Mom. Let's get it. Come on. Well, it's it, it just, it's it just, it's just, it, isn't there a cheaper model? Cheaper. Barbara, this is something I want you to have. It's my gift to you. Oh, Roger. So. Yeah. Be at home. We're home. This is so great. I'm not used to such a smooth ride. Can I see your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance, please? What did I do wrong? Violation of the speed limit. No way! I clocked you going 53 in a 35 mile an hour zone. It's the second time this month you busted me. Would you like to step out and take a look at the readout? You must have made a mistake. It was that station wagon that was speeding. Excuse me, I think it's been a mistake. I mean, I mean, I think you've got the wrong car. You see, I what, was back. What? Do you want a ticket, too? I've got plenty to go around. Look, uh, officer, I already had two tickets on my record. He wasn't the one who was speeding. Did you two know each other? Oh, yes, I'm his stepmother. Oh. But I'm the one who deserves that ticket. This is entirely unfair. The gun doesn't lie, ma'am. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I bet Kirky couldn't bench press my hope chest. And I bet her I could do a military press. 
Uh, are you serious? <laughs> but how else would I have gotten it up here? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you just won the varsity weightlifting contest at my school. That's right. 240 on the bench. Wow. Did you want something? Oh, yeah. I was going to invite you guys to a party, but somehow I don't think it'd be your thing. Well, whose party? Um, some friends of mine from art school. Is there going to be a kegger? I don't think so. So what do they do? Sit around and discuss art? Mm -hmm. I wonder what's taking your mom so long to get home. Okay, Grandma. I'll ask him. Roger, my, my grandma wants to know if it'd be okay if we take care of her dog while she goes on vacation. Is he a nice dog? He's like a big puppy. <laughs> okay. I don't see why not to. Roger says it's okay. Okay, I'll tell Bart. Bye, Grandma. They're going to read me for this one. Why? What happened? It's a long story. <laughs> not only are they going to yank my license, but my insurance is going to go through the roof. I'm not going to be able to afford to drive till I'm 30. Uh, you see, I was sort of getting used to the turbo. Well, actually, I was the one who deserved the ticket, not Laird. The cop was just picking on Laird because of the car he drives. Well, that's what the courts are for. <laughs> think they'll believe me with my record? Well, why not? You've got a witness. Well, you think they'll believe me? Why not? I believe you. Now, what do you know? That brings the score to not guilty, eh? Guilty zero. Looks like we'll be shut out today, Bailiff. Next case, Dino Broviak. Well, glad you could dress for the occasion, Mr. Broviak. Now, let's see. You are accused of driving your motorcycle down the sidewalk of Rodeo Drive. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Holy Toledo. He pleads not guilty. You know, folks, that's what drew me to the legal profession. That constant element of surprise. <laughs> this guy is a nightmare. I'm going to go up there and plead guilty and ask for traffic school. No, you've got to give it your best shot, man. I got a friend that sells traffic school certificates, a hundred bucks a pop. You don't even have to go to class. We are going up there, and we are going to tell him the truth. Now, uh, Mr. Broviak, this court sets your trial date for the 28th at 11 a.m. Actually, we could give you the 7.30 slot, just so you wouldn't be late for the office. <laughs> Next case. Well, I have a little faith in justice. Is that the way you want to play this, John? Do we have to go to the mat? We think our offer for settlement is fair. My client here has a clear contractual right to exercise his stock option. We can sit here and argue all day, Roger, but it's not going to make... Okay, fine. We'll see you at the trial. Gentlemen. Roger. You were really playing hardball there, Roger. It's your money, Mr. Farnsworth. Excuse me. We can just call him right back in and settle for 40 cents on a dollar. Roger's been through all this before. You can't let him rally you. I hope you know what you're doing. Trust us. Laird Gibbons. Welcome, Mr. Gibbons. Oh, have you brought counsel with you today? Oh, no. I'm a witness. Actually, I'm the yeah, one... Yeah, whatever. Now, it says here, Mr. Gibbons, that you drive a 1989 red convertible BMW. What do those things go for these days? Thirty, thirty-five thousand. 35,000? Uh, I'm not sure, Your Honor. That was a gift from my father. Like I said, folks, that constant element of surprise. <laughs> what has that got to do with whether he's guilty or not? I'm warning you, madam. This is a court of law. There are rules of conduct. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Well, now, Mr. Gibbons, let's see here. One, two, well, 
This looks like your third moving violation this year. Do you know what the prize is for three violations, Mr. Gibbons? Suspended license. Suspended license. Good answer. <laughs> How do you plead, Mr. Gibbons? Can I go to Travers School? That is up to the mercy of the court. First, you must enter a plea, Mr. Gibbons. Um... Can I talk it over with my stepmother? Oh, Bailey. He wants to talk it over with his mother. <laughs> Let me try to help you out. We surveyed 100 traffic offenders. Top two answers on the board. How did they most often respond to the charges against them? Not guilty! Bing! Number one answer. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Talk about rules of conduct. You seem to think this is your personal three-ring circus. Thank you, madam. That will be quite enough. I have been sitting here all morning watching you treat people with nothing but disrespect and contempt. I'm warning you. This court will find you in contempt. We came here today to, to see justice served, not see some two-bit stand-up comedy routine. I charge you with being in contempt of court. You may be aware that charge carries with it a jail sentence. Bailiff, remove this woman from the courtroom. Oh, she gets a little excited sometimes, but she, she really didn't know what she was doing by... by Silence! She, you can't take her to jail. I mean, she'll, she'll, she'll never make it. Be quiet. I, I don't believe this is happening. I mean, next case. Knock, knock. Come on in, Richard. Your tickets for the humanitarian of the year dinner tonight. I look forward to seeing you and Barbara there. All right. What do I owe you for these? Oh, just be there. The guy I went to law school with, pretty well connected. Thank you. Roger. You think we're playing a little fast and loose taking the Fonsworth thing to trial? I thought we agreed. Well, it was just that, uh, what? Well, you know, Farnsworth was ready to settle. Now we risk something going wrong in court. We got them dead to rights. Farnsworth is one of our oldest clients. It would be irresponsible to settle. I know, I know. I just worry, Roger. If we lose a prestigious client like Farnsworth, word gets around. I don't think either of us are ready for early retirement. <laughs> Excuse me. Mr. Gibbons, your son is on the line. Thank you. Larry? What? You're kidding. No, no, just, just sit tight. I'll be right there. Barbara is in jail. In jail? I, I don't think we can afford any distractions right now. Oh, please, Richard. Richard. I know, Roger, but this has got to be top priority. <laughs> right. Barbara. Oh. Are you all right? Oh. oh, Roger. Roger, it was so awful. I've never been in jail before. Oh. Now you have to promise me you won't tell the kids. Is that all you're worried about? Well, you wouldn't believe what happened. Leah told me all about it. Oh, I am so angry about this. You're angry. I'm the one who got my license suspended. Oh, not if I have anything to do about it. <laughs> I think you've done enough already. Hey, look, this is a traffic ticket. It's not the end of the world. You've got to tell us what to do, Roger. Tell you what to do? I don't have the foggiest idea what to do. Look, I'm a corporate lawyer. I don't know anything about this stuff. Besides, I, I, I'm up to my ears in work right now. Well, can't we file a complaint or, or, or file a report or something? My advice is just pay the ticket and forget it. But what about my, my license, though? Start thinking about public transportation. What do you think, Mambo? Think you can stand this hoity-toity environment for a couple of weeks? Come here, Mambo! Come here, boy! Sheep, <laughs> Mambo? Sora! Uh, this is my mother-in-law. The ex ex-mother-in-law, Zora McRae. Hi. Uh, this is Roger. Uh, my husband? What are you doing here? Oh, the kids are going to take care of Mambo. Um, Roger said it was okay. 
Well, it's just for a couple of weeks. Uh, well, he, he seems a nice enough dog. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, fella, come here. Come on. Come, Mambo. He, he's a little testy around strangers. Erica, what's wrong? I hate him. I hate him. Well, well, what happened? He wants to date other girls. <laughs> Mumbo, come! Mumbo! 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 trying to hurt you. He was just acting like a... acting like a boy. How can you defend him after what he did to me? Oh, sweetheart, this happens to everybody and it always works out for the best. Ask Amanda. Mm, I'm probably not the best person to ask about that. <sighs> See? blockhead. I'd dump him while you got the chance. He's not a blockhead. Now you're defending him? Look, if he wants to date other people, why can't you? Because everybody thinks of me as Kirk's girlfriend. Nobody's wanna, gonna want to date me. Oh, well, not with that attitude. They're not. I don't know how else to tell you this, but there's like a million other guys out there that are better than that musclehead Kirk. So how am I supposed to meet them? Well, I'm going to that party tonight that I told you about. Why don't you come with me? I don't feel like going to a party. So what are you going to do? Sit around the house and mope because he's out dating somebody else? Why don't you go, Erica? What do I have to wear to an art party? Got uh, perfect outfit. Amanda. I feel like I'm walking around in my underwear. Oh, just go with it, Erica. Pretend you're somebody different tonight. Okay. Uh, but can I lose this? Okay. <laughs> Hi. Is that a rat? Outre. Amanda. Hi. I want you to meet my stepsister, Erica. This is Utre. She's a performance artist. Hi. Fish. Utre! Did she say fish? Isn't she wild? Come on. I want to introduce you to somebody amazing. <laughs> Um, actually, this painting represents an important period both for me as an artist and as a being. Before this painting, I was only using color. Here, I begin to, to feel the color. It's like, up until here, I had been locked in that high school thing about, you know, it's art, but will people want to hang it on their wall? Jackson Pollock had the same kind of artistic metamorphosis right before he entered his flatter period. Uh, this is a little too weird. I'm going to get some air. Right here. <laughs> Here. The door is shut. 
somebody will be along soon. I'm Marcus. This is all new to you, isn't it? What do you mean? The party, the clothes, me. talking about. Yes, you do. What? Did Amanda tell you? She didn't have to. You mean it's like written big bold letters across my forehead? I'm saying this as a compliment. Uh -huh. At least you know who you are. That's more than I can say for most of the people here. Are they your friends? Some are. It's all a show. With the rat. <laughs> Ellen Porter. She was student body president of my high school. Oh. So, what about you? Do you believe in all that art baloney? I have to maintain an image. Well, where does that put me? You? You are truth and beauty itself. Yeah, right. Goodbye. Look at you. Just because you look like a blonde cheerleader, you think you have to be one. I'm not a cheerleader. I'm not on the inside. It's just the package obscures who you really are. There's someone to come. I don't even know. It's one of Richard Tomlinson's old pals. I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> Roger? Oh, Richie. You met Barbara? Well, of course. Uh, I hope you were able to straighten out your little uh, brush with the law. <laughs> oh, well, that, that was nothing, really. It was just a traffic ticket that got blown out of proportion. You know how these things seem like the end of the world at the time. Well, I did think it was unfair, but... Uh, but I guess I... I, I, I did overreact. Well, it happens to everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, who's the uh, humanitarian of the year we're celebrating? Curtis Smith, who we went to law school together. A great guy. Pillar of the community. Oh, there he is. Curtis. Oh, excuse me. I want you to meet my partner, Roger Gibbons. Congratulations. Thanks. And his lovely wife, Barbara. Hi. Have we met? No. Oh, no, I'm certain we haven't. <laughs> I mean, I'd have remembered if we had. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how we could have. Curtis! Oh, excuse me. They broke them all with that guy. I tell you, he's the best. <laughs> uh, can, can you excuse us for oh, a moment? certainly. What are you doing? Roger. That's him. Who? Him. The judge, Judge Smith, the one who threw him in jail. The humanitarian of the year? You paid money to honor the guy. I didn't know who he was. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. The guy roasts me, throws your wife in jail, and you guys name him the humanitarian of the year. Laird. We've got to do something. About what? 
nailing this guy to the wall. I thought you realized you were blowing this out of proportion. Oh, well, that was before I knew he was being honored. I don't see what difference that makes. Well, of course you wouldn't. That Judge Smith is only your partner's best friend. That has nothing to do with it. That man ought to be indicted, not given an award. Barbara, it's an imperfect system. You were the victim. Now, just walk away from it. Well, that's exactly what I'll be doing when this guy yanks my license. You know, we ought to beat Judge Smith in court. That's all there is to it, right? I'm sorry. I can't help you guys. I'm too busy. Well, then, we'll just have to do it ourselves. Right? I'm with you. You're welcome. Good morning, partner. Good morning, partner. No, thanks, honey. Just some toast and coffee. I have to go to court and file a motion. Oh, well, excuse me. No, thanks. Hey, how would you like some fried eggs for breakfast? Yes, I hate eggs. Well, did you have a good time last night? Very good time. Did you meet anyone interesting, Erica? Yeah, I did actually. Yeah. Where'd you get that jack? Oh, Marcus, the guy I met, gave it to me because I was cold. Well, are you going to give it back? Yeah, I'm seeing him tonight. Woo! That was fast. <laughs> Mambo! Mambo, that is so crude. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, Can't that dog stay outside? Oh. You were the one who invited him. Yeah. Did you get through? Did you repeat that for my legal counsel, please? I said there's virtually no one who ever beats the radar ticket. Thank you. LAPD radar division, radar manufacturer, the DMV, they're all saying the same thing. We can't win, Barbara. There's got to be a way to beat this ticket. You, you should let me go to traffic. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Mrs. Gibbons. Is uh, Eric home? Well, hi, Kirk. Uh, well, I'm... I'm not sure she's ready to see you yet. Uh, I came to apologize. I heard you took Erica to that party. Yes, I did. After you dropped her like a bad habit. Ho oh, ho! Hardcore! Erica! What have you done to your beautiful blonde hair? It was uh, limiting me, Mom. Limiting you? I like it. Got a sort of Cleopatra thing going. Oh! Hope that junk washes out. Maybe it's permanent. Some things are, you know. Oof. Oof. Where are you going? Oh, to see Marcus. Don't you think you're going a little too fast? No, I don't. Who is this Marcus boy? Yeah, where can I find him? You have nobody to blame but yourself, musclehead. And don't think you're the only one who got burned. Roger? Oh. Roger, you know, it says here that certain radio transmissions from airplanes can affect the accuracy of radar readings. Come on. Uh, can't you let it rest, Barbara? <laughs> uh, I 
Good God. Huh? Roger. Roger, I, I know you're, you're working on a big case and all, but... But isn't the purpose of the law to, to prevent injustice? Yes, Counselor. And aren't we both dealing with, with very real injustices here? Barbara, there is a very good chance that Laird won't lose his license at all. They'll probably just assign him to traffic school. Whereas Sanford Farnsworth stands a very good chance of losing millions of dollars. Now, do you understand the difference? Yes. Good. But, but isn't, the, isn't the basic principle of jurisprudence that we're all equal under the law? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. I am? Yes. Why shouldn't your case be as important to you as mine is to me? And if Laird is being treated unjustly... Then you'll help us? Well, I I'm not going to promise anything. Oh, you did. You did, you did, you did, you did. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Now, I can point you in the right direction, but you two are going to have to do all the legwork yourself. This, all of it, is West Annotated California Codes. It has all of the important precedents of traffic law cross-referenced with the vehicle code. Now, you have to look up the vehicle code that's been violated, and you have to refer to the applicable precedents. You got that? Welcome to the legal profession. <laughs> uh, Roger, uh, what's, what's going on here? Ask your friend to judge. Erica? Erica, come on. I just want to talk to you. We don't have anything in common anymore, Kirk. We just don't speak the same language. You're acting like a real wacko, Erica. I'm worried about you. I'm not your little blonde girlfriend anymore, Kirk. I don't care if you're blonde. I wouldn't care if you had blue hair. Erica, I want you back. I made a mistake. Now you know how it feels. Well, what do you want me to say, Erica, that I'm sorry? Words only obscure true meaning. What? Who's been feeding you that garbage? This Marcus dude? This Marcus dude happens to believe in honesty and impurity of personal expression. Oh, okay, fine. So how am I supposed to express myself if you won't even talk to me? Why don't you try using your head for something other than a meat locker for last time? Can I come in? Sure. I was only thinking. You know, I think you've taken this whole thing too far. What thing? With Erica? I'm not taking her anywhere. She's just sort of impressionable. Why don't you just get off your ego trip? You're only doing this to see how far you can make her go. Hey, you can't force the willing. You are so transparent, Marcus. You choose my own stepsister to try and make me jealous. Talk about an ego trip. You know, I could care less about you. It really doesn't matter to me. You were just a phase I was going through. I'm worried about Erica. And I am only giving her a thrill. I am reinventing her. Oh, your own personal dress-up, Barbie? Why don't you butt out and let Erica decide what's best for Erica? The door's open. Erica, how long have you been standing there? 
long enough. Erica, let me explain. Let me go. Just hear me out. What do I have to do? Paint you a picture? I know what kind of artist you are. You're a con artist. Purity of expression. It's getting down to the line, Barbara. Oh, we have until four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> I'm a dead man. There's something interesting. You two must be beat. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes. Do you have the number for the city's Department of Public Works? I can get it for you. Thanks. Excuse me. Barbara, Laird. This is Ray Canogliaro. He works with a firm downstairs. I think he's got the solution to your problem. Hi. Hi. Now, I just went through this with a client of mine. We got the ticket thrown out by citing the California Basic Speed Law. And that's uh, vehicle code 22350. Now, if you can prove that you were driving at a safe speed, given the condition of the road, hey, they've got to concede. That's it! That's it! That's it! Yes! I'm not going to lose my license. Barbara, I've got the Department of Public Works in the line. Oh, thank you. Oh, I can taste. I can taste victory already. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, tell me, please. Okay. I fell for him, too. <laughs> oh, honestly, man, I didn't know about you guys. Well, he was just doing the same thing to me that you were doing to Kirk. Mm. I think I really blew it, Amanda. Oh, Kirk will come back to you. I don't know about that. Well, to tell you the truth, Erica, I like the old you better anyway. Mm, kind of stupid, huh? You should have seen my green mohawk. <laughs> oh. What's so funny? You have got to see this. Come on. <laughs> You said you wanted me to express myself, so I'm expressing myself. What did your buddy say? I care what they say. <laughs> you are such a blockhead. But I love you for it. <laughs> Erica? Grandma, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I, I came to get Mumbo. Uh, tell your mother I'll call her later. Let's get out of here, Mambo, before they do something weird to your hair. So you're all set. You know what you have to do? I think so. Okay, don't let this guy rattle you. Just stay cool, present your case clearly and concisely. Good luck. Thanks. Did the contract not contain language? Language that Mr. Mayhood himself drafted that would specifically guarantee Mr. Farnsworth the right to exercise his stock option. Yes, it did. Thank you. Your witness. This just came for your wife. What is it? I don't know. It's from the Department of Public Works. It has something to do with her case. Get this to her right away. She's in room 548. Mr. Gibbons. Yes, Your Honor. Will you respond to the question? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, would you repeat it, please? Oh, I 
don't have one. I just need I'm to... sorry, ma'am. Court is in session. Only those assigned case numbers are allowed. But... I'm sorry. Judge Smith's rules. Can you get this to Barbara Gibbons? Sure. Oh, thanks. The court will now hear the People versus Laird Gibbons. Officer Russo, will you state your case, please? Not much to tell, Your Honor. I was covering radar detail on northbound Valley Meadow Road in Bel Air. Approximately 1,400 hours, I clocked Laird Gibbons traveling 53 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone in his BMW. That's about it. Thank you, Officer Russo. So, what does the Gibbons clan have to say for itself? <clears throat> Your Honor, <clears throat> my, uh, my son and I would like to cite Vehicle Code Section 22350, the California Basic Speed Law, which basically states travel the speed that is safe given the conditions of the road. Well, been doing a little homework, I see. Maybe you'd like to come up here and try the robe on for size? <laughs> uh, furthermore, <clears throat> the, the precedent established by Miller versus Northwest Pacific Railroad, 1962, says... Speed in excess of a prima facie limit of the posted speed is not negligence as a matter of law, blah, 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 blah. I've heard it all before. A for effort, but not quite good enough. As a traffic patrolman, Officer Russo is considered to be an expert witness by the court. Therefore, his testimony stands. But you can't do that. Oh, watch me. Now, if that is all, Mrs. Gibbons, I must rule in favor of the ticketing officer. I must say, I don't like the way you handle this, Roger. You seem to be very distracted. Everything is under control. Did you give that envelope to my wife? I gave it to the deputy at the door. What? Well, the guard wouldn't let me in. All right. Here we go. Be seated. After considering the arguments on both sides, this court finds for the plaintiff, Mr. Sanford Farnsworth. Congratulations, Mr. Farnsworth. <laughs> Roger. Any last comments before I pass judgment? Going once. Going twice. No. No. Uh, uh, that's, that's not all, Your Honor. Mrs. Gibbons. I, uh, <clears throat> I, I, I have an additional line of argumentation. You do? We're waiting. Well, um, wh what I think we have here to deal with is actually a, uh, 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 a line of distinction between the letter of the law and the spirit of the law. Thank you, Mrs. Gibbons, for a most enlightening philosophy lesson. Now, if you are through... Hey! Hey! Officer! No, 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 wait. There, there, there's more. Uh. Tick-tock, Mrs. Gibbons. Uh, <clears throat> Your Honor... I, I am sure that you are well aware that the use of radar is prohibited on any street that has not had an engineering and traffic safety survey performed by the Department of Public Works within the last five years. Uh, I would like to submit a letter from Public Works confirming that no such survey has been performed on Valley Meadow Road. Uh -huh. Therefore, Officer Russo's use of radar was illegal. And, and, and uh, I would like to move that the ticket be thrown out of court. Where did you get that? Little research on my own. Well, 
I suppose I have no choice but to dismiss the citation. <laughs> Any comments on the Farnsworth victory? You what? You want to talk to the real legal mind of this family? Talk to this lady, my wife. Really? Are you a lawyer too? No, no. But I want to go to law school. What? 